News 46 is brought to you by Dennis Hoff for Assembly District 36, a successful businessman who can't be bought, can't be intimidated, and won't sell you out. Paid for by friends of Dennis Hoff. Welcome back. A group of concerned individuals has formed Pahrump Fair Water LLC in regards to Jason King, the state water engineer's order number 1293, which requires landowners to purchase water rights to drill new wells. We have people from all over the United States that are affected by the order that uh, Jason King, our state's engineer, water engineer, uh, uh, enacted on December 19th. Order 1293, I believe. 1293. The order states that you have to have now, you have to purchase now two acre feet of water rights in order to drill a domestic well, which um, is detrimental to everybody who owns an acre or an acre and a quarter that intended to build. I have a client who bought four and a half acres and was going to drill her well when she got her tax money back this year. She can't do that. What are water rights going for right now? Because I'm sure that the cost is rising. As we speak. So on December 19th at 259, you could buy uh, water rights for between 1,000 and 3,000 per acre foot. Mm -hmm. At three o'clock in the afternoon when this went into effect, unbeknownst to anyone, it went up to 4,500 4, per acre foot. It's now over 10,000 per acre foot of water right if you can find them. The order states that it was trying to conserve water. This order does not conserve one drop of water. All it does is shift wealth from those that have water rights, or from those that need water rights, to those that have the water rights. That's all it's done. We have 8,000 uh, parcels, approximately 8,000 parcels out there that could drill one domestic well. They're saying they don't, we don't have enough water for that. However, our commissioners are constantly approving new di new division new subdivisions they did it after the i believe it was even after the uh, order went in now those subdivisions will put more than one family per acre so um right now you have and your group has filed a lawsuit against jason king we did file a lawsuit we asked for a judicial review um they and then we asked for uh, a stay of the order the Attorney General's office, the Deputy Attorney General, has answered that stay, untimely I might add, but did answer the stay, only to say that we had frivolous concerns, is what her comment was, about our water situation and the well and the ability to drill the wells. They, um, they're indicating that all the letters that I receive, and I receive every day letters from people saying, I can't believe they've done this to my family, mm -hmm. um, they're just frivolous concerns. What's the name of your group? How can people get involved? And do you have a court date coming up? It is called the Pahrump Fair Water LLC. They can, um, we're asking for donations for that. We need money for the attorney fees, of course. And any letters that they can provide us and showing us the harm that was done, as long as they put their name and their current address and the address of the property and tell us what happened. I submit all those to the judge, to the attorney, so we can, you know, get that involved with our lawsuit. How can they get in touch with you? They can call me on my cell at 775-209-5819. They can come into the, uh, the real estate office. There is where I'm operating out of because that's where I work. Mm -hmm. And they can come in and give me letters or talk to me at any time. Right there at Realty Executives. Realty what's, Executives. what's the address, sir? 3250 South Highway 160, Suite 11. Now, Avi Hewling is bringing us today's student news from Pahrump Valley High School. The student news is brought to you by the Wolfenstein Construction Company, serving Pahrump since 1977, committed to providing the highest quality construction products and services. Hi, my name is Avi Hewling and this is your student news. Please visit the Children's Tribune website at pvhsnews.com to read our stories. Stories are updated daily with breaking news, school news, opinions, sports, entertainment, videos, world, national, state, and corrupt news as well. Please feel free to comment and share. Students, the Mojave School is calling all young writers to a free creative writing workshop held in Pahrump every summer for students ages 14 to 18. 
The 2018 season starts Monday, July 16th through Friday, July 20th, beginning at 9 o'clock a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Nye Communities Coalition Campus. The address is 1020 East Wilson Road. Nye County Emergency Services is recruiting mo motivated individuals to sign up for the upcoming wildland fire season. You'll receive all the training and most of the equipment you need from the Station 51, all for free. The only thing you may need to supply for yourself is boots. For more information, please call 775-751-4280. I'm Abby Healy, and that's your student news. Thanks so much, Abby. Here's today's Mental Health Minute with Courtney Dandy Fralick. Hello, my name is Courtney Dandy Fralick, and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist with the Healthy Foundation Center. Depression can sneak up on you. It can come from a trigger or it can just come naturally based on brain chemistry. If you or someone you know is experiencing a depressed mood, you may notice other symptoms such as loss of appetite, changes in sleep patterns, and withdrawal from family and friends. Some tips that you may use to manage your mood and improve your depressed mood are going outside for a walk and experiencing the sunlight, or even if your heart's not in it, getting involved with your family and friends. However, if your depression reaches a clinical level, please don't hesitate to seek supportive services. Please give us a call at the Healthy Foundation Center at 702-489-2117. And if your depression reaches a level of suicidal thoughts, don't hesitate. Call 911. News 46 Weather Cam is brought to you by Glenn Lerner Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. All right, let's take a look at our current conditions outside. Gorgeous day. We'll take a closer look at your weather after this break.